good as popping YouTube family we back with another reaction video. <clears throat> we got my boy Sensei with Baki spun the block and violated pickle. <sighs> that means two this we since we got this is mean one or two things. One, y'all ran that video like go up to crazy amounts where two cents just did it by his lonely. And I think it's the first one. I think y'all went crazy. I don't know, but I think y'all went crazy. <laughs> y'all definitely went. I know y'all had to go crazy because y'all definitely went crazy on my reaction to it. That joint would like hit like a thousand in a three days. I was like crazy. I ate that up. Appreciate y'all on that one because that video was crazy. <laughs> this one, if, if this one is as wild as the last one, oh, we in for a treat. We finna in for a good time. No cap. So. To figure all that out, Sand Channel gonna be linked down below. I'm long in the video. Make sure you go show them the love. Hit the sub button. You know we gotta hit the lights. Boom! Oh my lord! You see that? The bow wow that doom <laughs> Bow wow still ugly for that. The uh, what he said? <laughs> Oh, dude, mm, that's so ugly. I hate it. Oh, yeah, let's make it full screen, you know, cinematic for my boy Sin because we know we're not in the attic, but you know, <laughs> let's get right into it. Oh, my God, relax. Dang, smack him in his back. 8,000 likes, y'all got 23,000. God. I'm not going to lie, y'all ran this video up crazy. For and because of that, I'm making good on my promise. Today, we're here to talk about how my man, Baki, spun the block and violated... Did he smack him on his back, That's though? Right. Baki versus Pickle is a fire fight. And at, and at the end of it, you're going to realize that this man, Baki, is truly him. He knocked the son of you, Jerohama, for nothing. This is by far one of the most manliest slash zestiest fights that I have <coughs> ever seen in anime. Pickle trying to get about that jam. Right now, I knew that this fight was going to be crazy right off the bat because this man Baki was literally sitting pretzel style in front of Pickle, ready for the smoke. Bro was breathing in the same air as this nigga, living in the same air as this nigga, not eating, not sleeping, not shitting, just no, breathing, just staring at this dude. I knew that he wanted to smoke, and that's why when he got tired of waiting, he walked dead over to Pickle. And I'm tired of waiting for this motherfucker. Damn. Bullshit, bro. I've been standing here for about three days now. He so said, bro, ain't did nothing. Travis Scott, you know, that shit ass. It so was trash. Music I can listen to on Spotify. Man, all right, I'm about to beat this nigga ass. Hey, yo, Pickle, what's good? Hey, look, I'm about to slap you in the face really gently because you're a bitch, all right? See? <laughs> you're a bitch. Right at this moment, this man Pickle. Pickle lost his damn mind and hold on real quick Duwaji. can we pause this real quick look that scene look we crazy this frame because this man just went from hero to zero in 1.2 seconds bro, he, he lost his mind right here in his frame why does he look like, like a horse from chowder talking about gazpacho you mean schnitzel? Bro got hit in the face with the you talking about Gaspacho, though. No I'm stupid. I'm stupid. What the fuck? What you just say? Oh, you talking about the shovel? Oh, yeah, that shovel is crazy, though. And right then, Baki kicked this dude dead in his neck, and the fight was on. Mm. I'm not going to lie. At this point, I could see the skill gap. It was immense. That skill gap was as wide as your baby mom's front two teeth. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And I know them she bad. Because I could put my whole meat through it. I'm just saying. Field goal? No, crazy. Saying, Field goal? This is crazy. This man, Baki, kicked him in the neck and then jumped on his back, put him in a rear neck and choked. Mm. Bro, he was choking this man pickle out like it was domestic abuse. He's trying to get out of that jam. Look at him. He's trying to get gone. He think he John Jones. He said, hell no, nigga, not good. Why the fuck is this dude squeezing my neck like this? And this man pickle starts panicking and does what any other rational person would do in this instance. Starts squirming. Yeah, I would too. I'm going to try everything I can to slam my motherfucking body on him. No guy. Get up off me. And that's exactly what pickle did. Except for it was about... Damn. That's about so three up. feet up in the air. Man. And he body planted directly down onto Baki. 
I knew that this man Baki was in immense pain. I know he felt that because that's here. crazy. Hit your pinky toe or ankle on the end of your bed, and that's <sighs> so much that you just walk around and don't say nothing. Get mad at everything, everything in the room. He was in in this instant. He was in so much pain he couldn't move or talk. He had niggas in the crowd talking about it. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> he not all right. That phone was crazy. God damn. He not all right. He not all right. He not all right. He's on even his eyes right now. He is gone. Man, hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit out of pocket. He dropped that nigga Baki from the sky, no parachute. <laughs> from the sky, no parachute. <laughs> Man, it hurt. He didn't even know what was going on. He's a Neanderthal. This dude got a literal IQ of a fucking gerbil. He has no really idea a pencil right now. He just knows something is wrong with him. So he goes to go touch this man Baki, and all Baki can do is slap his hand like reactively. Let me break down for y'all scientific terms and then in hood terms what's happening. In scientific terms, his diaphragm is completely contracted, and he can't get in the air through because you know. He done fell and lost his air. Yeah. What happens when you take a big fall, you land on your stomach or your back. Like when you've been, uh, you been on a trampoline and you hit your, and you. <laughs> Damn, that nigga can't breathe. This man, Baki, feel like a whole boulder is on his back right now. That motherfucker can barely even stand. He got Steven Seagal ponytail looking flabbergasted. Man, I don't even know how that nigga stand it right now. You think he just faking it? Man, obviously that motherfucker is fucked up. Exactly. He's trampling. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, God damn. I don't know if Baki can continue after this shit. Nah. Think if he die, he'll let me get his bitch. That's crazy. <laughs> Shut the hell up. So Baki is completely defenseless in this moment, bro. And Pickle feels terrible about it. For some reason, Pickle will inflict a whole lot of pain on you, but then for some reason feel bad about it and then get on uh, your knees. I don't know why though. Pray for you and shit. Motherfucker, you put me in this predicament. Yeah, you, you just did that. Your knees and pray for me, and you don't want to injure me. Baki was not going for that. Now every other time in his entire life. This man Baki snaps the hell out. The humiliation of seeing his opponent pray for him made his pride take over, and he punched this nigga dead in his shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? He said I'm about to pray for you, little dude, because you a bitch. Little dude. Motherfucker. Don't you put your hands together? You gonna beat my ass and then pray for me, bitch? The right. Oh, shit. I'm spitting up blood. Oh, oh, you got me. I oh, nah, this motherfucker about to punch my head. And right in this instant, this man Pickle did one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. Remember when Baki walked up to him and slapped him real calmly, real gently? He did the same thing. The same thing. Trying to show Baki that, look, my hands aren't deadly weapons. I can touch you real gentle. Look how you're looking like a little kid. Right before our very eyes, this stupid ass caveman is learning. Now, if only he can learn how to be a little less zesty. We didn't forget that you went mouth to mouth with this man, Jack. He did. Motherfucker, Jack, talk about, man. I'm about to have a bite off. Like, pause. Pause. Now, Pickle ain't fooling nobody. I don't know why he tried this. We all know that your hands are deadly weapons. They are nuclear bombs. Look at him. With arms attached. But Pickle was basically on some childish shit. This is his way of telling Baki that he wants to play. Now, I don't know why he wanted to act like this. Why he couldn't just have a regular fight. Now, exactly. I have no idea why this is his direct way of playing. Like, bro, we couldn't have played Uno. Connect something forward, connect foes i don't know how on smash bros or something something like with steel beams with nuclear bombs at the end of them like no bro i'm gonna pass so baki loses his mind after seeing this he is so embarrassed by this that he snaps and it looks like he about to take an unalive punch bro jumps up at the same distance and plunges to the ground and falls again baki what are you trying to do i don't know what he was trying to do lungs? you gonna be out here coughing like you got <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody calling for real? Fuck up. Why are you doing this? I don't know if this man Baki was just pridefully trying to prove a point or if he's an idiot. But this man took that fall and everybody's face gave the exact definition of how I felt in this moment. Like, ooh. Like, dang. I'm, I bet it was. Into the real fight. This man Baki was ready to go and got through pain and is ready to inflict pain on people. I mean, kind of. Because his whole body is shaking. And, you know, that's camouflage. Because he's in a lot of pain. I'm also trying to prove he's not a bitch. But you know, you know how it goes. But you know what's even more crazier than the fact that this man Baki the pickle fight was a zest fest. The fact a zest fest. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta go through this every, every time. time.
Hey, y'all just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do it. Turn the post notifications it's on. It's right the like there. Or right and there. Dwaji, these niggas is out of pocket. They still ain't subscribed yet, bro. Oh, my, oh my God. God. It's right. These niggas want to be homeless bitches, niggas forever. We trying to throw them the law to not be bitches or homeless ever again. Exactly. We trying to get you right. Bitches. Without That's what I'm saying, man. Subscriber, you a bitch. Literally. One in the Literally. Come the on. Skill gap comes into play. Remember, I told you how Baki had a huge ass skill gap. You know Look the one that's the same size as your baby. I ain't gonna say nothing. Front teeth. And I know that because I put my whole meat in between them. Feel go, buddy. <laughs> He's that's stupid. Exactly what I mean. See, Baki used the very tips of his feet, his heels, his fists to just basically graze this man Pickle's chin which caused a lot of jarring in his brain. And for the first time in the series, we see this man Pickle take a nosedive. Bro fell completely flat on his face. And that, friends, is what we like to call good boxing. Cause God good boxing. Damn, this man Pickle went through all types of fighters and nobody ever could knock him down. Not even the dude that bit his ear off on some Mike Tyson shit and had a mouth to mouth resuscitation fight with him. Yeah, that, that was- That didn't even knock him down. But this right here, that little ass graze on his chin. Oh yeah, it's raps for him. Hey Pickle, how you like the ground, cuz? <laughs> he said fuck the ground, cuz he'll beat the fuck out the ground. Right. He also said the ground owes him about $300 from last week. And if it don't pay him by the day, he'll show the ground why it's a true dick. I didn't think huh? everything was gonna get worse at this point. And then, this happens. You see, Baki used the technique that no one else had thought to use against Pickle because his entire body is a circumference of epidermis, which, you know, for you idiot ass niggas, is skin. And <laughs> for you idiot ass niggas. <laughs> and started hitting him like an 1800 slave. Oh, nah. Yo, Baki, I ain't know you was on that Kuta Kenpei shit. I hey. <laughs> Y'all didn't know it, but I did. He I'm... started slapping the hell out of this man Pickle. All right, Pickle, so you think that you cold, huh? You think that I can't do any damage to you? That's your problem. Well, I'm sorry I got to you, big ass bitch. Right. Why you walking up to me like a slave master? Stop that talking and fight, pussy. That, that's what he said. This man, Baki, started smacking the The monkey suck. Out of this man. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Anybody that slapped me to the point where their handprint is left on my body got me chopped. And they footprint? I, you, and I might shoot you. So I, I would too. I got it. Two things you can do to another man, in my opinion, at least. No, nah, you right. You got beef. Y'all two about to fight. And then right before you go to punch him, bro, smack you. Anywhere on my body, that is a violation. I'm not going to lie. I felt bad for Pickle, bro. He was getting smacked crazy to the point this man put his hands out like he was trying to defend himself. This man put two stiff arms out like he playing basketball. You know, when you getting whooped, could he like, he trying to catch the whip, the belt. We getting in that all four position. Hey, yo, Wes, we ain't that that shit that happened to you right before he ate your leg? Man, hell yeah, this motherfucker ate my damn leg. But I forgot he ate He ate, now you catch. Peg leg. Oh, I can't even walk right. I got a peg leg now, bro. I feel like a Mega Man boss. This is some bullshit. You talking about a Mega Man boss? The pirate got the same style as that. Mm, Y'all do. Come on, let's look at an eye patch and a bird. He should be a pirate. That's some bullshit. So as soon as this man get into this all four position and he start lunging at this dude, Baki. Well, he's about to lunge at him. Aki starts getting into these weird ass positions. Starts doing these dumb ass fighting styles where he's like different animals and insects. The problem is though, the things that Pickle used to lunge at were dinosaurs. Right, it's and nothing he can do in about Jurassic that. Jurassic Park, Baki. He was not living in no time where there was tigers, praying mantises, hawks, bears. No, he was lunging at bronchiosaurus, T-Rex, goddamn big dogs. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. He was lunging at real hitters. So I don't know why this man thought that he was about to be a bear, bro. And then it dawned on me. This man, Baki, knew exactly what he was supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. He started doing the fighting style of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. mm -hmm. This man posed like a triceratops. Adaptability. This man pickle hallucinating that shit. Yo, you know that you're a real cold ass fighter when you got the dude you're fighting seeing images of dinosaurs behind you. Bro, look, at, look how he looked. Look how he looked, though. This man 
did a pose and had Pickle thinking he was a triceratops. Nah, Pickle really was and shook though, wasn't he? That is by far the most enormous animal that we know about in the dinosaur kingdom. It's big, it's strong, it's got horns, and this man done posed and made Pickle believe that that's what he is. Bro, this dude Pickle got an overactive imagination. He need to go write a book. Or well, something. Don't know um, yeah. Really right. He's kind of Floyd Mayweather, but that, that's what's That's insane. Point. This man, Baki, started putting in true pain as dinosaurs. Pterodactyl, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, oh, nah. Pickle was scared to death. He looked Look like, at him. This motherfucker is so different, bro. He got me speaking English right now. He got me speaking English. This motherfucker just turned into all the dinosaurs at once. Mm-hmm. That's your regular Don Rex. Easy to block. Formation of all these dumbass dinosaurs. Bro got the Triceratops feet and his horns. Pterodactyl wing, the goddamn claws, talons, and feet, the talons of a pterodactyl, the jawline of a, 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 a strong bitch, Natalie Nunn. Even if Natalie was Natalie Nunn, you still couldn't chip check that. You feel me? Strong ass jaw like a T Rex. Bro, he got a lunge at this dude pickle, and I was like, oh, nah, he's about to put in true pain on this thing. As a dinosaur. <laughs> Pickle said, God damn, this nigga a dinosaur. Flipped him. Bro, he grabbed Pickle's arm and twisted it with the jaw of a T-Rex, but it was really just his hand. Flipped him. He was him. not giving up either. He stayed lunging at him. They all was amazed by that. And, just gonna rush in. and then we see this dude Pickle do something that we have never seen him do before. The narrator goes on this long ass tangent about how sprinters try to get as horizontal as they can to make they lift off faster. Yeah, and that's how you. And Pickle got completely horizontal on some Usain Bolt shit. Mm -hmm. He is out here moving like he is light speed. Bro, you know that this fight was crazy. They went to like the future tense rep suit to talk about it in an interview. They're recording this man and he explaining this Pickle fight on camera. On oh, camera. Oh, wow, bro, wow. I couldn't believe this shit. No <laughs> oh God, they did this. It. That's crazy. I couldn't even believe my eyes. This dude got in a complete horizontal line and launched as fast as I could ever see. Motherfucker, I couldn't even tell. Cause I couldn't even tell. You see the shit. I started having all types of uh, epiphanies and crazy ass thoughts. You know your thoughts be moving like some of the speed, You know, so they just be happening. But th th this shit was crazy. Damn, that is crazy. But why you got them sunglasses? Why I got the sunglasses? On? That's true. Why you got them on? They look cool. So Baki drops his guard completely, bro. And as Pickle launches at him at what seems to be above mock speed, and I'm not a power scaler, but you know, I'm just making that up because it sounds cool. This man hey. moves like he a matador and sends Pickle flying into the goddamn benches. Yo, this man Pickle flew into them benches like look how you look. Stupid. He had eight in three weeks. Flicked them off with his hand like he was nothing. That shit is crazy. I've never seen no attack like that. What disrespectful? Was the craziest thing about it though is that even though he was moving that fast and his momentum. Momentum was used against him that much. He landed like nothing happened. This motherfucker think he's Zoro. I swear to God. Y'all caught the bar? That was, that was bar. There's no way that if the you know, you know. this fight make any sense. This man Pickle has the anatomy of an oxen. Like, oh, oh, nothing works on this dude. It's like nothing can hurt him. I mean, we saw Baki hurt him, obviously. But like, you know what I mean? So after Baki Did he pee on himself? This dude Pickle is fucking insane. I mean, this dude literally took no damage from what seemed to be a fucking 60 foot launch. He sees that the skill gap, like I was saying, is as wide as He brought it wide. back three times. And I know that because I put my whole meat in it. <laughs> <laughs> this man, Baki, decides on some manly shit that he could definitely win this fight. And that's why I said in the beginning that Baki is going to win. You see, this man, Baki, is a dog. That if he use martial arts, at the current skill level is comparable enough that he could win the fight pretty handedly. It's like, for instance, playing Street Fighter 6, since that's a new game that's out. If you right. play modern controls, you have 20% less damage output. However, that just means that all you have to do is be at least as good as somebody with classic controls as they are modern controls. 
and you'll win 99% of your fights because you do more damage. I right. was close enough in strength to him that his skill took it over the top. And instead of just beating this dude up, which he could have done, he decided to end it man to man. And these two niggas had a slugfest. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This Golly. Is I'm talking about straight hands and feet. This man pickle stomped on Baki like a thousand times in one second. God damn! Golly! How you gonna stomp on a pro? Oh, if that man with the crazy uppercut, hold on, this man pickle out of box now. Bro, he knocked this dude. Good one, how to box? To the lights. It got to a point where Baki had to dodge every single hit that came from this dude because he knew if he got hit with any more of them, he would take too much damage. He's too strong. It got to a point where this man Baki was moving through his opponent. It was like he was transparent or something. Bro, transparent just means to see what translucent. No, that's, that's invisible. What is it? Transparent something. Man, this Intangible. Oh, he swung at him. He ended up behind him. Like he moved through him. Oh, nah, this dude different. This man Baki can teleport now. Like he got future sight or something. Yeah. That's exactly what I meant, y'all. The skill level was too wide. So these two barbarian ass men decided they just gonna slug it out. Mm -hmm. right before this happens, this man Pickle transforms into what seems to be his true form. His body started transforming right What in the world? Eyes. And we see teeth marks on his front and back. And at this moment, all of us realize that he survived the bite of a T Rex. I wonder that man Jack lost to the bite of Yeah, no one. He's realizing that he could just dodge these moves all day long. It's to a point where he just goes head to head with this man. Pickle on some man shit. This is one of the most manliest things I've ever seen, man. This dude was really taking that paint. True paint. Bro was fighting this dude Pickle straight up hand to hand. Mm, chin check him. had a slug fest and it ended with this man Baki laying on the ground. But like I said, Baki won this fight because he could have used skill to overcome the strength gap. But he instead tried to go strength to strength with Pickle and realized, ah, nigga, you was not ready for that match. <laughs> well, I mean, Pickle and Baki had a great deal of respect for each other though, because after this fight was over, this man Pickle went and sat on the roof and Baki came and joined him. These motherfuckers just looking over the city and shit. Damn, that was a pure ass whooping. I'm not going to lie. They should have named this shit the ass whoop art. I'm not going to crap. Because <laughs> God, damn. It looked like it was crazy. Because God. Because Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hold on. I wonder if you know. Anything you took you. I wonder if you know. It ain't did it. Yeah, right, they first off. First off. I would never be in them kind of situations. You think I'm finna fight these barbaric men? Hmm? No, not me. I said, I'm done. I wouldn't even be in there. I wouldn't even be in the same building as them people. I wouldn't even look like I'm some type of threat. What uh, what Babu said? I'm an innocent little tweet. Keep it steady, bear while I sleep. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I'm not gonna be in that situation. You're crazy, crazy guys. You're crazy dog. Hey, but look, that shit was crazy. Like a lot of Slapping his back, just he chin. Hey, it looked like Baki chin checked him like mad times. No cap. They probably did it too. Getting chin checked like that. I never got chin checked. So, uh, uh, didn't me though. But definitely gotta go watch that. You know, I don't watch. Uh, I don't really watch Baki. Well, I haven't. I do. I watched it all. I just haven't watched the, these episodes that he's covering. So I'm going to go watch them in type B. But that being said, send channel going to be linked down below and longer in the video. Make sure you go show them some love. Hit the sub button, type B, type B. And I'll catch y'all next one. Peace.